hello friends so today let's understand what is swap space and uh, how to create it so swap memory is basically the part or pages of the memory from the ram which is switching to use a file or partition dedicated on the hard drive as memory memory space so what is happening is uh, when the uh, hard drive we define or dedicated uh, some of the file or you know the partition which can be used as the memory so if your system physical ram memory is full you can use swap space for extra memory resources so it is useful if you have like a low memory on your machine and uh, if you do not want your machine to run out of memory anytime so when a linux runs out of ram what happened is that inactive pages of the memory are moved from the ram to the swap space so let's understand this from the diagram also as you can see in this diagram that we have the operating system and our ram there so whenever some pages inactive pages uh, are not required by the memory so it moved to the secondary memory that is the your uh, swap space and uh, that is called swap in actually and uh, whenever that uh, pages are required by the memory it stick out from the um, secondary memory so this switching between the main memory and your allocated uh, swap space is called swapping so this is how your kernel and cpu manages your memory actually you have to remember that uh, swap memory from the hard drive is slower than the ram as it used the file and partition so the ram is always you know that it is very fast so you can uh, you can see if you already have swap memory assigned by the uh, running you can run this command and see that uh, how much your memory your swap memory is allocated right on your system so you can write this so you can see there is no file right now it's empty so we do not have any swap space right now you can also check through top so here you can see this uh, swap there is zero total nothing is here so right now we do not have any available swap here so let's check uh, for example if you do not have the swap uh, assigned to your machine if you do not have already have the swap on your machine so what you can do the first step you can create a file dedicated to the new swap space memory space so you can do by creating a one bigger empty file like this so here if uh, mean the input file of is a uh, output file bs block size and count the number of times it has been copied so what does this line uh, does actually is that it creates a file with input uh, from dev knowledge and write it to the file swap at the location whatever you have defined it here like a swap file So here you can see it has copied the records and uh, total of 512 MB file it has created here. So it is always a good procedure to make your swap twice as big as your physical RAM. So if your RAM is like you can say 4 uh, GB, so it's better to have you know 8 GB file so that you do not have the problem. But uh, remember that uh, only the root users should be able to write and read this web file so change mode of this file 600 
so here you can see that swap file has been created and uh, with the read write permission that is for root only not for any other so if everything is fine now we will make assign or uh, this file what we have created just now this web file let's convert it or create into this swap so make this swap assign it as a swap here so you can see the message is coming that setting up swap space version this size is no label and it has added uh, given our id to it so now our swap is ready now we have to activate this file i think uh, this will work swap n minus swap file good so now we will check it whether our swap is available or not swap uh, minus s so you can see that file is showing it's a file now it's not partition because if you have to create the partition in that case uh, at the time of uh, creating the partition at that time only you can define that uh, which partition you require as a swap but uh, so right now we are creating swap space through the file so you can that's why it's given the type is the file only not partition here define the size and use to zero right now right here whatever is given so here it's all detail you can also get it this detail through swap on minus show so here also you can see that size and type everything has been defined here or you can also use like free minus uh, h here also you can see the memory swap memory total our this is the ram act it's been there and this is the swap memory we have added here so it give all the details of this memory so this is uh, whatever the swap you have created is a, a temporary one so when your system will reboot the swap will deactivate and it will not show you or you cannot use this swap again okay? So in this case, uh, if you require to persist this uh, swap space and uh, make it permanent, what you have to do it, you have to ch change and uh, tree into the etc fs tab file. So to make the permanent, let's go to editing it, etc fs tab. Let's do it here. So file. And save this file so now our swap memory is available permanently so whenever the system will report it will be available there also guys this is how you can create the file and this is a so what is happening is that if you require to remove this uh, swap for example, sometimes what happens is that you have created a swap of 1 GB and now you, you think that your system required more swap. So what you can do, you can remove the old swap file and uh, create a new swap file and assign it as a swap memory there. So you can do in this step, first uh, deactivate the swap which has been already been there. So you can use this command to swap it. To remove the swap, swap off minus v 
swap file so it has swap of the swap memory and then finally simply delete the swap file swap file yes let's check whether it's available now or not swap on minus s so no memory here and through top also we can check it or we let's check with free minus h so there is no swap available now so now you are free to create a new swap file and assign it as large as size you want to make it and you assign it as a swap memory there are other methods also to create a big size your large file is empty file you can go through my other video given in the description that how we can create a empty large file so you can go through that also thank you friends thank you very much